It was like hell, North Calgary hammered by supercell hailstorms. Residents of North Calgary were once again caught in a severe hailstorm that tore through their neighborhoods Tuesday night, ripping apart siding, denting vehicles and smashing windows. The series of supercell storms came in waves, producing strong wind gusts, golf ball-sized hail and torrential rain, according to a meteorologist with Environment and Climate Change Canada, ECCC, we did expect an area of severe storms, where we were expecting strongish straight-line winds, some large hail and there was a risk of a tornado as well, said Natalie Hazel, a warning preparedness meteorologist with the federal agency, which issued a severe thunderstorm warning for parts of South. Central Alberta Late Monday We were expecting heavy rain as well, but the main concern was hail. The particular storm that hit North Calgary appeared to initially be heading for Airdrie, Hazel said, but veered south at the last minute and by the time it reached Calgary, it had developed into more of a supercell storm, she said. As that was happening, Calgary got hit with a lot of hail and wind, Hazel said. Behind that, there were other storms that might have caused some significant weather. It was like someone shooting bullets at your house. Northern communities were especially hard hit by the wild weather, which left a trail of dented roofs, shredded siding and flooded streets assessing the busted windshield of his vehicle and the battered siding of his house in Redstone on Tuesday morning, Harsimran Singh said he had never experienced such an incident. Singh moved to Calgary from Toronto last year and said that while he'd heard of southern Alberta's notorious hailstorms, he was shocked by the fury of the event. You can say it was like hell, he told Post Media, adding he had no words to descri describe the scenes from his window on Monday night. It was like someone shooting bullets at your house. Another Redstone resident, Josiah Chinidu, shared a similar account. After receiving the emergency alert and moving his vehicles into the garage on Tuesday evening, he took cover inside as tennis ball-sized hail battered his home. It sounded like a train, it was that bad, Chinidu told Post Media Tuesday morning, it was so crazy that the kids were screaming. We had to tell them everything was going to be all right. It was very scary, to say the least. Ward 5 Councillor Raj Dhaliwal said he spent Tuesday morning touring the communities of Redstone, Cornerstone, and Skyview to talk to residents and survey the damage. He noted this wasn't the first time the Northeast has been pummeled by heavy hailstorms, and the fallout begs the question of what role the city plays in supporting residents of hail prone communities. Dollywall cited a previous rebate program that provided homeowners up to $3,000 in rebates to install a more resilient roof that was quickly oversubscribed to, after council approved it in 2021. The repeated impact hail has had on Calgary's northeast means more should be done, Dollywall argued. He suggested the city should lobby higher orders of government to consider amendments to building code requirements. I don't think anyone buys a house expecting their house could get damaged every second year, he said. What I think is happening is people are looking for answers. How do we make sure we have more resilient built forms? A statement from the City of Calgary on Tuesday afternoon said crews are still assessing hail damage to properties and trees. Calgary Fire Department crews responded to about 50 weather-related incidents in a concentrated part of the northeast on Tuesday night, according to the city, and seven fire department vehicles were damaged, damaged by hail while responding to those incidents. The Calgary International Airport was also not spared by the storm. Videos posted to social media Tuesday night showed rainwater cascading from the airport's roof, with one clip showing a ceiling tile as it crashed to the floor. Dozens of flights were cancelled or delayed Tuesday, according to the airport's website. The airport authority's chief operating officer, Chris Miles, told reporters during an afternoon media availability that the hail had enough ferocity that it punctured the airport's roofing membrane. Due to the size of the airport and the fact the storm was highly centralized, he noted some sections of the facility were damaged while others were unscathed. No one in the airport was injured in the incident and YYC doesn't expect any lasting repercussions of the storm, Miles said, our first and foremost priority here at the airport was safety, he said. So none of our crews are going to be going out in any sort of environmental event where there is life safety at risk. We are working as fast as we can to restore and we are supporting our airline partners with their guests. Nearby the airport, park 2 go Calgary confirmed to users in an email that vehicles in the lot were damaged by the hail, citing shattered and cracked windows and sunroofs on some vehicles. Considering the number of vehicles affected by this hailstorm in our parking lot, we are unable to email every customer individually regarding their vehicles or share any pictures, the organization stated.
Our team has been overwhelmed with calls, messages, and emails. We will do our best to communicate with you. We apologize for any delays. During the storm, many motorists stopped underneath overpasses, something the Calgary Police Service advises against. After last night's severe hailstorm, we are reminding Calgarians that stopping on major roadways or in dangerous positions during hailstorms or other severe weather events presents extreme hazards to road users, a CPS spokesperson said, noting offenders could be fined $162 and face demerit points. CPS advises drivers to plan ahead and check for weather warnings before heading out. If the hail is severe enough to impede your vision and safe operation of the vehicle, proceed to the next exit and stop safely until the storm has passed. A lot of people were affected. It will take many more days for the extent of property damage to become clear. And Marie Thomas, Director of Consumer and Industry Relations for the Insurance Bureau of Canada, IBC, said Calgarians whose homes or vehicles suffered damage will need to reach out to their insurance companies to start the claims process. With thousands of Calgarians expected to issue claims in the coming days, she acknowledged it will likely take more than a month before the sheer extent of damage is realized. As you could imagine, people are just now going, what do I do? It could be another couple of days before all residents even reach out to their insurance company, she said. For vehicle insurance, Thomas said comprehensive or all perils coverage is required in order to receive a payout for hail damage. Calgary's most costly hailstorm occurred in 2020, Thomas noted. That particular storm, which resulted in roughly 70,000 claims and $1.3 billion in insured damage, was also the most expensive hailstorm in Canadian history at the time. It's too early to hazard a guess how Monday's storm will compare to those numbers, Thomas added. I don't know where this one sits in relation to 2020, I just know this one, a lot of people were affected, Thomas said. She said IBC has a consumer information center, staffed by insurance professionals who are ready to take questions from impacted Calgarians. The center's number is 1-844-227-5422 and its email address is askipquest at ibc.ca. With files from Jim Wells, Brent Calver, and Ricky Leong.